guys, Steffi this side and today in this video we'll be talking about the differences between a regular everyday use mouse and a gaming mouse. For the regular mouse we have M116 wired mouse from Dell and for the gaming mouse we have a relatively budget friendly G102 Prodigy gaming mouse from Logitech. So I have put down all the differences under four major headings. So we'll discuss them one by one. First is the DPI or the dots per inch. It is basically the measure of the movement of the cursor on the screen relative to the mouse movement made by your hand on the surface and it can also be called as the sensitivity of a mouse. So higher is the DPI for a mouse, higher is the sensitivity for that mouse. A regular mouse like this one from Dell have a fixed DPI of 1000 while a standard gaming mouse supports a DPI range of somewhere from 200 to 4000 and for a high end gaming mouse it can go up to 16000 DPI. This particular Logitech mouse supports a DPI of 200 to 8000 and the higher sensitivity is relatively important for gaming like for example you are playing any assault game and you hear someone walking behind you at that moment you just want to turn around as soon as possible because if you don't you know that you are dead. So higher sensitivity is relatively important for gaming. Now the second difference is the polling rate or the report rate. So this basically is a measure of how often a mouse reports its position to the computer and it's measured in hertz. Like for example, if a mouse has a polling rate of 250 hertz, that means it reports its position to the computer 250 times every second or it reports its position once every 4 milliseconds. So a higher polling rate will help you decrease the lag between when you move your mouse and when the relative movement is shown on the computer screen. And since the interaction between the mouse and the computer has increased, it will demand more resources from your processor. Something you should know. So by now you might have understood that gaming mouse have higher polling rate than their regular counterparts. So for a regular mouse, the polling rate is not usually mentioned, but they generally have a standard polling rate of 125 Hertz, which means that the mouse interacts with the computer 125 times every second or once every 8 milliseconds. While this gaming mouse from Logitech has a polling rate of 1000 Hertz, which means that it interacts with the computer 1000 times every second or once every 1 millisecond and generally the gaming mouse have higher polling rates so that they can deliver a snappier gameplay to take those cheeky headshots and counter strike and actually if you have spare time try playing counter strike on online servers and if you are as bad as I am I'm sure you will also last only for a few seconds and I'm pretty sure that most of the people are using gaming peripherals in those games. Now the third difference is the customization. So a regular mouse is as boring as a tech product can be. They usually have two or three buttons with one scroll wheel and they have their functions well defined and you cannot do anything about them. But for a gaming mouse, almost everything can be customized while still putting up an exciting design. So for a gaming mouse, you can change the DPI speech, report rate, you can customize the RGB and this Logitech mouse has six buttons in total. You can customize actions for each of them. And just in case, if you look at the high in gaming mouse they come with as many as 15 buttons with 16,000 DPS speeds and you can even customize the weight distribution on them so sure some of these features might sound like going little over the top but remember these are enthusiast people who play games professionally of course they want the best there is and the fourth and the last difference is the price and the build quality so the mouse we have for comparison this Dell mouse is I guess retails for around 400 rupees and this Logitech mouse retails for around 1600 rupees and of course this is just an entry-level mouse if you're willing to spend more you can spend as much as you want and since you are spending extra money for a gaming mouse they must be built better and surprise they are built better since you're going to spend a lot of time using these mouse they are designed better as well i mean gaming mouse have better ergonomics than your regular mouse they fit better in your hands and you can use them for longer periods of time without feeling any sort of fatigue and they last longer as well and like i said earlier they also come with tons of features as well as weight distribution the rgb all that fancy stuff so what's my take on all this well if you ask me i I think if you can you should anyways go for a gaming mouse well sure you don't have to go all crazy and buy the most expensive gaming mouse because there's a cap to every feature after which that feature don't really serve any purpose and it's more of a gimmick rather than improving the productivity like there's no use of 16,000 dpi for daily work i mean a 3200 or 4000 dpi would be more than sufficient to improve your productivity and also, if you can, go for a wired mouse over a wireless mouse because that will also help you save some money. And one question that might come to your mind would be, can you really tell the difference between both kinds of mouse? So the answer is yes, absolutely. So by spending extra, you'll be getting a faster and a snappier mouse with better ergonomics and it's going to last longer than your normal mouse. So it's okay to spend a little extra and get a gaming mouse. So I think that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something of value today. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more tech content. But until next time, Thanks for watching, be safe, stay indoors and I'll see you guys next time.